Roots and zeros of a polynomials definitions. A zeros of a polynomial px is a number a such that pa equal to zero. Next, x equal to a is called a roots of the polynomial equation px equal to zero. In general, if x equal to a is a root of a polynomial equations p x equal to 0, then x minus a is a factor of p x. Last one, every polynomial equation of degree n has exactly n roots. Some of this root may be repeated. That means if the polynomial equations have degree 3, it has 3 roots, but some of that root may be repeated. Example 7. Show that negative 4 is a 0 of 6x cubed plus 23x squared minus 5x minus 4. First, let px equal to 6x cubed plus 23x squared minus 5x minus 4. Next, to show that negative 4 is a 0 of this polynomial, we are going to substitute x equal to negative 4 in this polynomial. So we have p negative 4 equal to 6 times negative 4 to the power of 3 plus 23 times negative 4 squared minus 5 times negative 4 minus 4 equal to 0. Since p negative 4 equal to 0, we can say that therefore negative 4 is a 0 of 6x cubed plus 23x squared minus 5x minus 4 shun. Example 8. Find all the zeros and roots of px equal to 6x cubed plus 13x squared minus 4. We need to factorize these polynomials completely. Before that, we're going to find the factor of this polynomial. First, we are going to use trial and error methods. I'm going to let x equal to plus minus 2 and we're going to substitute x equal to plus minus 2 in this polynomial when x equal to 2 we have p2 equal to 6 times 2 cube plus 13 times 2 square minus 4 equal to 96 which is not equal to 0 and when x equal to negative 2, we have p negative 2 equal to 6 times negative 2 cubed plus 13 times negative 2 square minus 4 equal to 0. Since p negative 2 equal to 0, we can get the factor from x equal to negative 2, which is it will be x plus 2 as the factor of px. So we write the conclusions. Since p negative 2 equal to 0, then x plus 2 is a factor of px equal to 6x cubed plus 13x squared minus 4. Next, we are going to factorize these expressions completely by using long divisions. So, I'm going to take 6x cubed plus 13x squared minus 4 
divided by the divisor which is from the factor of this px which is the divisor will be x plus 2 so next we are going to eliminate 6x cube so I'm going to multiply 6x square with x plus 2 so we get 6x cube plus 12x square next 6x cube minus 6x cube equal to 0 13x square minus 12x square equal to x square bring the remaining terms below here we get minus 4 but before that just put plus 0x minus 4 so next we are going to eliminate x square so I'm going to multiply x with x plus 2 so we get x square plus 2x so when x square minus 2x we get 0 and then 0x minus 2x we get negative 2x also it brings negative 4 below here so we have negative 2x minus 4 I'm going to eliminate negative 2x by taking negative 2 multiply with x plus 2 so we get negative 2x minus 4 so now negative 2x minus negative 2x we get 0 and negative 4 minus negative 4 also equal to 0 the remainder will be 0 since we factorize these expressions completely now you need to write px in this form which is px equal to quotients which is 6x square plus x minus 2 multiply with the divisor which is x plus 2 plus the remainder no need to write since the remainder is 0 and then we're going to factorize these quotients which is we're going to get 2x minus 1 times 3x plus 2 and times the divisor here which is x plus 2 now we can get the zeros and roots from these three linear terms which is we can write the zeros are from 2x minus 1 we get 1 over 2 from 3x plus 2 we get negative 2 over 3 and from x plus 2 we get negative 2 so zeros are 1 over 2, negative 2 over 3, and negative 2. And the roots are, we just put x equal to 1 over 2, x equal to negative 2 over 3, and x equal to negative 2. Example 9a show that x plus 1 is a factor of px equal to 2x cubed minus 5x squared minus 4x plus 3. So from x plus 2, we are going to get x equal to negative 1. So now I'm going to substitute x equal to negative 1 in this polynomial. So we have p negative 1 equal to 2 times negative 1 cubed minus 5 times negative 1 square minus 4 times negative 1 plus 3 equal to 0 since we get p negative 1 equal to 0 therefore we can say that x plus 2 is a factor of this polynomial so you need to write the conclusions since p negative 1 equal to 0 then x plus 1 is a factor of px equal to 2x cubed minus 5x square minus 4x plus 3 shun example 9b factorize the expressions completely I'm going to apply long divisions method to factorize the expressions completely by taking 
x plus 1 which is the factor of px just now as the divisor so we're going to have 2x cubed minus 5x squared minus 4x plus 3 divided by x plus 1 so now we're going to eliminate 2x cubed so i'm going to take 2x squared multiply with x plus 1 so we have 2x cubed plus 2x squared so next we take 2x cubed minus 2x cubed go to 0 negative 5x squared minus 2x squared equal to negative 7x squared next i'm going to bring these two terms below here we get negative 7x squared minus 4x plus 3 we're going to eliminate negative 7x squared so i'm going to multiply negative 7x with x plus 1 so we will get negative 7x squared minus 7x So now, negative 7x squared minus negative 7x squared equal to 0. Next, negative 4x minus negative 7x equal to 3x. Next, we bring the constants 3 here below. So we get 3x plus 3. Next, we are going to try to eliminate 3x. I'm going to take... 3 times x plus 1 equal to 3x plus 3. So, now we have 3x minus 3x which is 0. 3 minus 3 also 0. So, the remainder should be 0 since the expression is factorized completely. Now, we need to write the answer in this form which is px equal to the quotient which is 2x square minus 7x plus 3 from here multiply with the divisor which is x plus 1 plus the remainder no need to write since the remainder is 0 now we're going to factorize the quotients here so we get x minus 3 times 2x minus 1 times x plus 1 now let's answer question C and D. We need to use the linear terms here to answer question C and D. Question C asks you to find all the zeros of the expressions and question D asks you to state all the roots of the expressions. So let's answer question C first. So the zeros are from these linear terms the first one here, x minus 3, we're going to get the 0 as 3. And from 2x minus 1, the zeros is 1 over 2. And from x plus 1, the zeros is negative 1. Next, question D, the roots are, so we can write, roots are, x equal to 3 and then x equal to 1 over 2 and the last one x equal to negative 1 